and she is very is she's reminiscent. basically they're just like it's always been you, Helen. So she was, in essence, she's a descendant of that girl that Candyman fell in love with, or at least looks like. Yeah. So that that's why seems he to be her, that. Yeah. So that seems to be the point. That's that's what this whole thing was leading up to. So she just goes, "Okay, this is my life now," and then goes, "Nope," and push kicks the shit out of him crawls with the baby as they've already lit the thing ablaze. Yeah, I don't think she cares about her living, but she's like, I gotta get this baby yeah, out of here. Yeah, gotta get the baby out. So she crawls and... Catches crawls fire. Away, completely on fire. Crawls out. Is protecting the baby. She dies uh, while she hands the baby off. And she just, like, looks up, sees that the baby's okay, and then just fucking dies. Now, this is where I'll go to the book. <laughs> Because this is the, the the ending of the book is very different, and clearly they gave it the the happy Hollywood ending ish. Because in the book, what ends up happening, Candyman is not forceful. He's not. He's not even really violent. He only kills people who want to be killed. So, uh, the version of Anne Marie in the book offered up her baby as a sacrifice to be a part of the urban legend. <clears throat> so, and that actually tricks uh, Helen into going for it because she's looking for the baby. Mm-hmm. But then she sees that the baby's already dead. And the mother brings the baby, like the baby's body, to Candyman. And they say, of course, being Clive Barker, if you've ever read Clive Barker, of course this is what he's going to say. Of like, She offers the body of the baby as, you know, possibly a lover for Candyman. Because Clive Barker. Um... So, what Helen does is Candyman just basically comes to her and says, if if you want to be a part of the urban legend, I can make that happen for you. But I won't force you. And then she chooses to become a part of the urban legend, and he kills her. That's where it ends. Well, can't make a movie about that. No, because uh, people will not that, understand that. Especially that baby part. Yes. Um... <laughs> well, they only said that it might be his lover. I know, but you Clive don't even apply that in film. Yeah. Um. So she dies. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a very very small funeral. It's, yeah. Uh, Trevor, his new lady, which is hilarious. So, Why would you bring her? Uh, the stuffy British yeah, professor stuffy from British the dinner. Guy, yeah. And some dude. <laughs> just some guy. It's just, just. Who's broken up about the whole thing? I've never seen this person. In this entire film. I'm guessing he might have been one of her students. I really don't know. Like, literally, I don't know who this fourth guy is. No, I mean, there was a dude that she smiled at when she went to sit down with Bernie. Yeah. Might have been him. Maybe. I don't know. I couldn't remember, because clearly he didn't make an impression. So you're like, well, she doesn't have a lot of friends. Yeah. And then the entirety of of Cabrini Cabrini Green Green come in. Slowly walks in. Uh, And Jake throws the hook into the mm-hmm. into, into the, the onto the casket because uh, you know basically uh, Jake and Anne Marie are leading the procession and uh, they sort of go to pay their respects Every, all of Cabrini Green comes to pay their respects and then that's the end of of Helen <laughs> Trevor's not like oh why did that small child just throw a yeah. bloody he hook never questions into it. But the I mean, ground and again, this is also the same guy who brings his new girlfriend <laughs> To, to his, his ex, wife's to his funeral. Wife's funeral, yeah. So clearly this dude ain't playing with a full deck. No. So, she's mad at him for some reason. Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. So, okay, this is where I'm like, I had an ex like this. I'm sorry if you're listening, but I had I have to point it out. Uh, if she might be listening, so there is a point. I'm, I'm not saying this in a shitty way, but I'm just saying it happened. Or this kind of thing happened. He's broken up about... He's in the washroom. Yeah, he's he's broken up about everything because he's just like, Helen, what the fuck did I do? Like, why didn't I fucking... And she is just like, hey, I'm going to make dinner. And he's like, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Like, I need a second. And she immediately gets mad that he's upset. I'm sorry. That's perfectly normal to be upset. It really is. His wife just died. Yeah. I know he was fucking you the whole time, but... It's going to be, you know, as much as he was off boning you, he was kind of well, I guess you need to remember she's like a college student, right? So she's like real fucking yeah. immature. And again, just like, why is he still thinking again, about her? She's so cutting up meat on mad. And... So was the girl I'm talking about that I was dating as well. So she definitely gets a pass for being young. And, you know, maybe hopefully she's grown up now. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. She gets real so she's like really fucking pissy. angry and like just angrily chops that meat. And I'm like, all right, hun, calm. You're yeah. going to, you're going to ruin that meat. And I, I'll abide by a lot of shit in this movie, but you will not fuck up meat while I'm around. So he mm-hmm. looks into the mirror and not on purpose, <laughs> no. I guess, but he's, he's just, just like, he's Helen, 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 Helen. Only, I counted. He only said it four times. Yeah. So she's one better than Candy <laughs> Um, and then the lights go out, and mm-hmm. she appears, like, yeah. with her fucking head all mm-hmm. burnt. Head all burnt, and... Hook! Hook in her hand, and then just fucking neck to nuts. And now, did they? Mm. Did Jake give her the hook because she's the new Candyman now? I don't know. I guess so, because I think the implication was that Candyman burned to death. Yeah. Which is weird, because, you know, seems like an immortal being. He's yeah. been around for several hundred years at this point. I don't know. I guess she is the new handyman. I mean, she, she, handyman. <laughs> In living color right now. Um, the new Candyman. But, I mean, the hook she has came from Jake, not Candyman. Yeah. So, I mean, considering that they make sequels, I'm guessing Candyman doesn't die. No. Although, no, the sequel is a prequel. Yeah, so. So, I don't know what the third one is, because I yeah. couldn't, I could barely get so through the sequel, she, so I don't she know. So, she kills Trevor, Maybe. like, super dead. Yeah. The the girl goes in and he's fucking like just oh, yeah. everywhere splayed and, out. Ah, credits. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Candyman. Yes. And I'm thinking, is watching this whole thing going. He doesn't get a lot of play. No. Uh, your Michael Myers, like we said in Halloween, your Jason, your Freddies, your Chuckies, your, yes. your Ghostface. Yes. All of them get play. Mm. Candyman really gets no play. Welcome to the world of Clive Barker. Um, in, like, Clive Barker's most famous work, uh, the Hellbound Heart Hellraiser. Lead Cenobite, as people now call him Pinhead, I don't like that name, so I'm going to keep calling him Lead Cenobite. He doesn't do anything. Nothing. He just stands around and makes cool fucking speeches while everybody else does his dirty work. Mm-hmm. That's why he's the lead Cenobite. He's the white hat. He's the one in charge. That's kind of a thing... That, that runs But in. Pinhead gets play. Like, he gets play. But he doesn't do anything. He literally stands around and talks. He doesn't do no, anything. No, no, no. I mean, what I mean is... He's not in it much. He's not in the first Hellraiser. Hey, you lot. know what, man? The Tony Todd's in this movie for like 20 minutes tops. Uh, he's not in a yeah, whole lot. Yeah, he's like Batman and Batman in 89. Yeah, like, uh, like he's not in a whole lot. No. Um, but what, what I mean, I get... What I mean by play, mm. I mean like... No one really talks about Candyman. Oh, like the character? Yeah, like, the character. Like People everyone, around? Yeah. I you know, there's a bunch of remakes and, you know... I think you're wrong. Everyone, get, All these other guys get pop vinyls and lunchboxes and t-shirts and all this stuff. Well, the there, candy are, there are several uh, Candyman action figures. Um, they do But exist. you know but, what I mean, no, right? No, but he does. Like, he do, well, see, that's the thing. You're not really in the horror community. Candyman's right up there. Yeah. Like, when people talk about horror, everyone's like, Candyman's the guy. Like, everyone loves Candyman. I love Candyman. Um, he's a great character that got a, like, he only got three flicks. That's the other thing that doesn't, like that's, that doesn't, that doesn't put him up on I the mean, thing. I mean, Ghostface only had four. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but Ghostface. And it wasn't even the same person. <laughs> no, but that didn't have to. It was yeah. the, the image, right? Yeah. Um, but he had, well, because the difference is though, all four screen movies in theaters. Yeah. Candyman, the one. first one was. And then two the rest straight were straight to, to video. Not even um, straight to DVD. We're talking to video. video. Yeah, VHS 90s. styles. So, he doesn't, he gets a lot of play based on this movie alone. Because yeah. if you tell a lot of people who consider Candyman one if of the you greats. you say Candyman. If you say Candyman, they're thinking about this. So, I will actually say the exact opposite is true. This man got a lot of play, not much in the movie, yeah. but gets a lot of credit just because of how cool, damn cool Tony Todd was in this movie. Because he is badass in this movie. He's fantastic in everything in this movie. Um... Just like, you believe that people would be hypnotized by him. Because you're just like, I kind of am. And he's pretty awesome. So, yeah, he does get... He is kind of... Um, it is unfortunate that they don't consider like remaking it or something like that. But at the same time... I think that's what I mean. Like, all of these other movies have been remade a couple times over. Well... Um, but, like, you'll never even hear a sniff from a Candyman remake. It's hard to say because... I don't know if there's much potential... Because of the fact that only one movie was successful. Yeah. Like, all these remakes that they've... Well, no, that's not true, because I've seen remakes of other movies that are successful. 
Um, like, you know, like some of the, the exploitation flicks, like they've, they've remade, um, like Last House on the Left, Hills Have Eyes, um, fucking Spit on Rock, your grave. Spit on Your Grave, they remade, things like that. So, I don't know, it's a little, it is a little weird. You are correct in that. That is a little on the odds. You know? But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, but maybe just Tony Todd's like, fuck you, I'm not letting you do it, because he might have enough stroke in the horror community to do it. Well, plus, I'm sure Clive Barker isn't one to... Yeah, he's not, he doesn't like, well, at the same time, how many Hellraisers have there been? And yeah, but that's his, that's seen? his, like, I think when you think Clive Barker, you think Hellraiser. You I would assume. You know? Well, I mean, not to, not to shit on the man. Because I do like him, but I'm, his his work his written work is not that great. In all yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I've tried some of his some of his books are not great, and I've read a fair bit, and I want to like him. And some of it's good. Like I really enjoyed the Forbidden. Uh, I like a lot of the stuff in the books of Books of Blood. Uh, I liked Hellbound Heart. I like a lot of his stuff, but some of his stuff is just roof. yeah, um, dretch, if you will. So, uh, we're rating it now. Mm-hmm. Um. I'll go first. Mm-hmm. Um, out of the three we've seen so far, yes. uh, I probably give this one the least amount. I'm only mm. going to give it a five out of ten. Mm. I thought just there's a lot of it where they're just going around the projects. It just it's just mm. there's not much going on. Yeah. She's not particularly no great. I will agree. <laughs> I will agree with that. Um, because that's. Tony Todd is barely in this movie, but when he is, mm-hmm. when he's in the scenes, oh, it's great. He makes the movie. But out of an hour and a half, he's in like 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. No, so it's a lot of her, and yeah. she's not great. No, she's not particularly good. She's not bad, but... That's why I'm giving it like a half. Like <laughs> yeah. <it's... clears throat> See... I'm 50% not... percent still a pass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite as... as, uh, as... I don't know, I guess... The... I'm not as harsh as you are on this... Uh, I'd give it more, I'd give it more of a six bordering on seven. Like, I don't want to point five oh, already, I guess but, we got a um, five. Oh yeah. Here you look for candy man, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Ten. <laughs> uh, and I'll, I'll give it, uh, like 6.5 to seven, uh, shit covers walls. <laughs> uh, cause, uh, yeah, I, I really, I do like the movie a lot. I really do. Like, I don't like, I don't dislike it as much as you do. And I, I know you don't dislike it, but no, no. I like it a lot. I think he... I think Tony Todd himself is part of the reason why I really like it. Oh yeah, any he, any anything good. He is so good in it, and I li- I do like the tone of the movie. There's a foreboding through oh, the, the whole music. thing. The music is the, absolutely uh, beautiful. The opening sequence, yeah. uh, over the traffic, mm-hmm. yeah, and the, very good. That like gothic yeah. piano style, exactly. And, then and it Candy was Candyman uh, across the screen. That was all. Yeah, like very it's all well Todd Glass's uh, work, and he didn't even realize he was doing a horror movie because they didn't they didn't tell him <laughs> he's making a movie. Yeah, all right, they cool. just said score a movie. They didn't tell him what it was, and apparently he was fucking angry too. He didn't want to be making a horror movie, but that was the whole point. They were like, we wanted to, a score that didn't sound like a horror movie. And I like the director of this, and I really want to look up more of his work. Mm-hmm. Um, but he basically said, like, he didn't want, and I, I love him for this, he didn't want the music to tell you when you should be scared. Yeah. He wanted the movie to tell you. I like that a lot. Because usually these movies, foreboding music starts, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh, well, this is going to be a scary scene. Exactly. So I, I like the I like the tone of the film. I really do. I mean, there's a lot to laugh at, and we did, right? Like... Again, the whole Xander Berkeley subplot is unnecessary. Um, just adds comedy, in all honesty. Like, that, the scene with her, you know, the, the scene with uh, Helen showing up and they've already painted the house and stuff like that. And the fact that he brings her to the fucking funeral. And then she's mad at him for being upset. Like, it's all fucking terrible. Like, this is not good. This is really bad writing. This is... You know, it's just, it's such an odd thing to have, and it's unnecessary. But it's another reason time, why I gave it five, because true. that takes up a good chunk of the movie. It really does, unfortunately. But at the same time, like, I feel for her. You know what I mean? Like, I, as much as, again, she's not a great actress, when she's, when, when shit starts going down, like, I love that kind of story in yeah. horror movies, where shit's going down and no one's listening to her. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, three straight weeks, mm-hmm. and we're going to make it four next week, Yes, of... The main character or characters mm-hmm. are super dead by the end of the movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was not planned no, like this. it really wasn't, uh, um, but it ends up happening that way. And it will happen again next week as we end October. Although that's a horrible thing to say, in all fairness, if you think about it. 
It's crazy how we yeah, got kind yeah, of a downer, but, but you know, it's not hey. good because of you know reality has to hit this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, because we end. Yeah, uh, 